For some, adventure is not an option. Woo! They simply can't imagine life any other way. Where he is right now, he's skiing and he doesn't have to sharpen his edges. Where no. he is. <laughs> Joel Shute's family sits in his garage, surrounded by that reminder. A backdrop of skis is fitting for a man that spent most of his life covered in snow. He was skiing before he was two and just never looked back. He was also very safety conscious. He got certified for um, backcountry first aid and uh, he was the one assigned to be the person to help someone. Help was what Joel needed on Friday. He and two friends were caught in an avalanche southwest of Marble near Chair Mountain. One was able to hike out. The other was rescued by helicopter. Search crews found Joel's body the next day. Backcountry skiing's a risk, but so is getting in your car. Yeah. You know, he did everything right, and you just sometimes nature's just stronger. You know, he he died doing what he loved. The Colorado Avalanche Information Center says nine people have been killed in avalanches this year, but rather focus on how he died. Joel's family remembers how he lived, constantly finding ways to help people and make them happy. He just had a joy for living. He was so funny. He just <laughs> he made me laugh from daylight to sundown. His last birthday card he gave me said, thank you for giving me life. Life was Joel's greatest adventure. Ew! But through those that loved him most, his journey isn't over. He'll, he'll be with us forever. Joel's friends created a GoFundMe, not for funeral expenses, but rather for the mountain search and rescue team that helps bring people back to their loved ones. His family says it's what he would have wanted. Yeah, they go out there all the time when they get these calls, and you hope this isn't the outcome. Exactly, and, and Joel knew that. He was backcountry first aid certified, it sounds like, according to his stepmother, and he knew the real dangers there, but he also knows the amazing work that search and rescue team does mm -hmm. day in and day out. Yeah, we're grateful for him. Thank you, Jalisa.